It's the WP Minute. This episode is brought to you by Master WP and underrepresented in tech. Master WP is your source for independent insights and education for WordPress professionals. Subscribe to the free weekly newsletter at masterwp.com. The underrepresented in tech database matches underrepresented folks with opportunities, jobs, and community. It's all about ending underrepresentation in tech. If you're hiring, check out the free database at underrepresentedintech.com. Join us or support the show with a free coffee or a membership at buymeacoffee.com slash mattreport. You know how it goes. Everything I mention here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the wpminute.com for the links. In the news, WordPress continues to work on core template changes to refine the creation experience. Many more options will be released with the WordPress with WordPress 6.1 that will continue to improve website building. You can explore the enhancements now in the Gutenberg plugin. Sarah Gooding over at the WP Tavern wrote an article about how the WP Optimize plugin was being accused of cheating their page speed performance tool. Before the dust settled, there was a follow-up article covering the details about WP Optimize denying the cheating allegations. If you're interested in the specifics around the performance gathering and analyzing the techniques of both articles are worth a read. Sarah Gooding was also writing about performance last week. She had another article about how WordPress is placing WebP by default on hold for 6.1, WordPress 6.1. There were many objections from lead developers, and the image upload has been controversial since it was announced. WooCommerce. If you are a WooCommerce user, there is a store editing roadmap update for Q3. A lot of work has been going on for the last few months. You can quickly see what's coming now, next, and later. Events. WordCamp US is right around the corner. Make sure you look for Raquel Landefeld, who will be representing the WP Minute. And don't forget that you can sign up for the live stream if you're not attending in in person, which is what I'll be doing. The speaker call for WordCamp Buffalo is open. This WordCamp will be an in-person event held on October 22nd, 2022. Submissions must be in by September 11th, 2022 for speaker slots. Next up, Michelle Frechette with the Community Minute, attending a post-COVID WordCamp US. And Richard Tabor teases his upcoming WordCamp US talk, A New Era of WordPress Themes is Here, Block Themes. Hi, it's Michelle Frechette with your WP Community Minute. Let's talk WordCamp US. I think it's safe to say, even if you're a WordCamp US veteran, you've never been to a WordCamp US like this one before. Why? With only 650 attendees, it'll basically be about the size of some of our previous super camps, like WordCamp Miami and WordCamp Montreal. Over the course of two days, Three, if you attend Contributor Day, you will see the same faces more often. You will have better opportunities for conversations, networking, and learning about emerging technologies from WordPress companies. And the lines for food will be shorter. So here's my best advice for attendees this year. Lean into it. Spend less time with the people from your own company and more time meeting new people. Spend time with your old friends, but make new ones too. Sit with strangers at lunch. Sit next to someone you don't know at a talk. Walk up to a sponsor table and ask about their services and products. Take their swag. Take photos of badges of people you want to connect with later. Reading a QR code will get lost in your phone tabs later. Photos are there until you delete them. Make memories, collect experiences, give connection. This could be your best WordCamp US yet. I'll be there. I hope you find me and say hello. Hey, it's Rich Tabor here with a WP Minute all about my upcoming WordCamp US session on how a new era of WordPress themes has kicked off with the introduction of the block theme. When Gutenberg first landed and WordPress 5.0, it started the shift towards a new core editing experience. People started experimenting with blocks, which were seen as the foundation for this next era of WordPress. I actually don't subscribe to that. Don't get me wrong, blocks are cool but each block is only a micro-experience within the editor. And each micro-experience within the editor is only as good as the holistic WordPress experience. And you know what drives that? Themes. In particular, block themes. So join me on September 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific time as I dive in and explore what makes a block theme different from a good old classic theme, the architecture behind a block theme, and how they facilitate a full site editing experience within WordPress core. The session link will be in the show notes. See you there. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Michelle. Now from our contributors and producers, Sam Munoz shares that the WP Engine builders have become a community that is unique and special. Go check them out on Twitter and become part of the builder team. 
Tom McFarlane has written a post about using the block editor as a developer. It has not been the greatest experience. Most of the frustration comes from the standards that are not in place and documentation that is scarce. This often happens with major changes and updates in WordPress. Take a few minutes to read his article. It's organized and steps you through what you will need to develop blocks and has many great reference links. Can we please stop saying Gutenberg now? Frank Klein's post on Human Made website makes a good point of how Gutenberg is confusing. Is it a project? Is it a plugin? Is it an editor? Not for developers? Some kind of historic timeline in the multiverse that is human history? Bottom line is, to be specific, when referencing Gutenberg, Abha Takor tweeted, One of my favorite things to support has been this photography celebration with the new WordPress photo directory. It will be so wonderful to enjoy views from across the world and discover where existing and new contributors are located. WP Minute members have continued the discussion, full site editing, building websites, CSS, and how relevant WordPress will be in the near future. Ryan Cords shared the article from Geoff Graham about not being sure how to WordPress anymore, and Leslie Sim tweeted that WordPress is still very complicated and maybe three to five years away from being more seamless. Thanks to all of the members who shared these links today, Michelle Frechette, Joe Casabonia, Daniel Schutzmith, Brian Cord, Sam Munoz, and Leslie Sim. It's a banner contribution wink. Thank, <laughs> wink week. Thanks to you, dear listener, for tuning in to your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every Wednesday. You can support independent content like this by purchasing us a digital coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Report or join the Ling Squad membership for $79 a year. Support the show, become a producer of the WP Minute. Buymeacoffee.com slash MattReport. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it wherever you do social media. Jump on the mailing list at the WPMinute.com. 